man, we got some iconic guitar riffs for you, played on an iconic guitar. Check that out. Can you do that, Zach? So my buddy Kevin over there, uh, I'm doing a, a USA guitar video that you guys will be seeing uh, here in a couple months. And he sent this over to me, uh, you know, just to kind of check out and what a, what a killer guitar. So uh, we're not going to spend too much time chatting about this. The guitar is insane. Check out that red. EMG's in it. And, uh, yo, it's the bee's knees. But about today's video, if you want tabs for what we are going to be covering, that link is down below. And uh, if you really want to, like, maybe take some of these ideas and extend them and really see how you can move this stuff around and use it, uh, check out my free guitar course, the Fretboard Decoder. It uh, will, you know, I think you could apply a lot of this stuff to it and you know, get a lot more mileage out of it. But anyways, here's five licks. They're they're pretty, pretty stinking simple, not going to lie. And uh, let's just go. Lick number one. <laughs> Good old Freebird lick. It has to be one of the most iconic ones. And uh, you know, how many, how many times you've heard that song? When you hear that section, you know, you just you get pumped up. Uh, and there's there's a, like four or five different licks in there. I could have chosen. You know, you know he does all kinds of cool stuff uh, in there. But uh, I went with this one, and it, it's basically this is repeating pattern. It's really cool. And he keeps going. But um, we just kind of leave it there to make it make sure it's just a lick and not a whole big phrase. But um, essentially, that's all of this G minor pentatonic scale. And uh, what we do is this: you're gonna play 15 on the high string, and eight pull off 15 on the B, and then seven on the G. So. Now I, I'm kind of barring my pointer finger there. Here's my picking, uh, and I, I think this helps me play it. I guess it doesn't matter, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I, I'm going, uh, sometimes I go up, up, down. Um, and why that can be helpful is because you kind of have to jump over the B string to get back to the high E. And this kind of gets your hand moving in the right direction. So, but again, you could alter and figure if you want to do it. Lick's not like that fast to where you, you know, you can't do it if you don't do it this one way, but uh, it's still a sweet lick. Now, if you were a betting person, yo, you could have th threw it on a couple bucks that this one's going to be in here. So, of course, Jimmy Page, Stairway to Heaven, that intro. <laughs> All right, so let's cover what is happening here. So um, it's like this A A minor, A Aeolian kind of vibe. Uh, what's kind of cool is the way that Jimmy ends it. He ends it on this F note, which is your minor sixth, but it's while the rhythm is hitting the F, so it really has this punch to it. So uh, we start off with a big old bend here on seventh fret of the G. Okay, now after that, you're gonna do this little uh, pentatonic run. Uh, rhythm was totally wrong there. There we go. Now what's happening here is it's just five on the high string, eight pull off five on the B, then it's seven pull off five on the G. Okay, then you're gonna go to seven on the D. So and then you're gonna go roll your finger back down to get to the G, and you're gonna go seven pull off five. Okay, now this one uh, I think he picks, he might not. It's seven five on the D. Then you end on instead of seven, which you might, you know be your instincts if you're trying to stay pentatonic, but you actually want to end on eight. Gives it that cool sound. So we have. Oh man, what's cooking? Van Halen. Yo, how could we not have some Van Halen in here? Now, I chose not to do uh, the, the tapping section from Eruption, because that was kind of more like a, a big, long sequence, you know, uh, versus the part that we're doing, which is out of, uh, you really got me. Sorry, I'm not going to bring that here. Uh, to me, it was more like a lick. I don't remember how many times Eddie does it. Oh, <laughs> 
And uh, well, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do each one. I tapped it out each time once. Listen to the song. Um, I'll just do each one twice though. <laughs> So you're gonna be tapping 10 on the B string, and then you're gonna pull off essentially to five and hammer back on to eight. We'll do that four times this time. Okay, now you shift just your left hand down. You keep tapping 10, but you're gonna then go four, seven on the B. Maybe each one's four times. I can't remember for the life of me. I'm going brain dead, woo! Then you're gonna tap 10, and you're gonna pull off this uh, three, and then hammer on to six. Now I added this part, he does a very similar thing. Uh, but I just did like a simple version of it. I went bending four on the G. Then I'm tapping 14 up here. That's just your A note, uh, just resolving it all. So we have. I am using this finger, uh, plucking that G whenever I need to bend the four. So I go. So this one is probably the ultimate rock and roll lick, just like the best one ever. Chuck Berry, come on, come on. So uh, we're gonna go like this. Woo! It's, it's just, it's a fun lick, man. You can't get, <laughs> it doesn't get any better. So essentially this lick here, uh, we are doing it out of, well, oddly enough, a sharp? I guess that's where we're doing it. <laughs> A sharp, B flat. And uh, it just starts off with repeating kind of like double stop. So I'm playing six on the B in high string. Then I go to eight on the G. Then six, hammer on seven on the G. And then eight on the D. Which is your root again, so. So I believe it's five times. One, two, three, four, five, then eight. Six hammer on seven. That way you have a nice uh, eight note sequence, not eight note, but eight beat sequence. So. And this part here is simply just cuts out all those extra double stops and you just do everything once. You know, that thing, uh, I've just played a terrible guitar lick. Erase that, go back to the first lick that I kind of played right. Now the final lick here that I chose was actually a Boston lick, and uh, I shouldn't say Boston lick. This is again, these licks are used, you know, across so many guitar players. They're not just one person. It's just this is where I got the lick from, and uh, this is uh, foreplay and long time. I'm forgetting the names of songs. I'm literally going brain dead. <laughs> So uh, Tom Trolls, oh my god, what an amazing guitar player. <laughs> so he has this lick, and like I said, it's a staple rock, like he does it in the, I think the perfect way to use this kind of lick. Uh, you know, it's a big epic rhythm section going on behind him. Wherever the riff is. But, um... And what's cool is he speeds it up, so he goes... Eventually it turns into that kind of, kind, of, kind of thing. But essentially the riff starts out like this, and we're playing out of F now. So I'm bending 15 on the G up a full step. Then I simply go to uh, 13 on the B. I'm actually bending to the same note. So I go 15, and then 13, and then I go up to 16, and I pull off to 13. So this is another one of those where my I'm, I'm picking, I go down, down, up. Watch my right hand. So down, down, up, down, up. And I said it kind of turns into eventually where I don't think he has the bend in there anymore. He goes. Home diggity dogs, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed those licks. These are uh, some of the most iconic ones, and like I said, and surprisingly, they're not that difficult to play, so I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. Uh, just don't forget to grab the tabs, and like I said before, check out the fretboard decoder down below. And otherwise, we're out of here. Guitar high fives. Oh, and a big thank you to, the, to Kevin and the guys over at Iconic for sending this over for me to check out, and 
uh, using some stuff that I'm wanting to do. So later, homies. Guitar high five.